Guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best gin build to run in Wild Rift. And guys, 2.4 has been a great patch for Jin because they finally gave him the item he needed. But before we get on into that, let's start off with the items to get right into it. So the first item, Infinity Edge. Infinity Edge is a very strong item. It gives him attack damage and crit. This is exactly what Jin wants. Jin really wants attack damage and crit um, and not really much attack speed and back in patches 2.3 and before all there has been is just crit and attack speed items so now we officially have the first item that has crit and attack damage on it and attack speed attack speed and, and attack damage on the same build so that's why storm razor is such a key item on on Jin is because you're finally able to build a crit item that comes with attack damage and attack speed together. So it's a very strong item for him. Also, the passive is very nice because once you once you slow enemies down, you're able to secure them uh, and finish them off really fast or follow up with a root after you slow them. Next up, you either wanna get stasis or QSS. Uh, it really depends on the type of game you're in, whether you're against a lot of taunts, charms, stuns, or you're against a Zed, Vi, Camille, then you're gonna wanna rock the stasis. Next up, you're gonna want that rapid fire cannon. It gives you uh, more crit, it gives you attack speed, which isn't really as important, but the passive is very nice because you do get that longer range shot on Jin. So if you have your rapid fire on your fourth shot, that's gonna be a disgusting amount of damage from a very far uh, range. Next up, you're gonna want a guardian angel. Guardian angel is great because a bunch of 80s, a uh, bunch of the enemies are going to be wanting to hop on you and get your guts so make sure you get guardian angels so just in case you get hopped on you do get that extra life uh after you do die and mortal reminder is fantastic especially against uh champions that have healing also it's great for champions that build armor now for the runes you're going to want to run fleet footwork fleet footwork is great because you're able to do an extra amount of damage uh when you do have the fleet footwork proc also you're always going to be moving super quickly because each time you crit with Jin, you move faster than normal so that's going to help you stack the fleet footwork quicker and proc it a lot more next up you're going to want to have brutal on Hunter Titan and Sweet Tooth. These are pretty standard ADC runes that you guys see me use on a bunch of other ADCs because they're just so damn good. Now lastly, for the spells, you want to run Healer and Flash or Barrier and Flash depending on what your support runs. Now guys, in this gameplay, it was actually pretty high elo gameplay even though I was playing on a smurf. We were playing against some other people on their smurfs as well, so it was a super fun game, but you could really see how hard Jin hits in this video. So if you're new here and you guys like ADC content and daily content, make sure to sub up because we're on the road to 550K subs. So help me out. With that, let's hop right on into the gameplay. All right, guys, we're now in our Jin gameplay. And in this gameplay, I'm basically gonna be telling you guys why this build is so broken. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's not that it's broken, but it finally puts Jin in the place that he belongs. Like he actually does a lot of damage now, which is fantastic. So in this gameplay, I actually have a pretty decent matchup. Um, we have Gragas support and Jin versus Kaisa Nami. So what are some key takeaways? Well, Jin has pretty good wave clear. He has good range compared to Kaisa. Uh, and can can bully out Kaisa quite easily. So as you could already see in the beginning of this lane phase, I'm already popping off. The second key thing is to realize what are your combos uh, that you can do with Jin and your teammate. And in this game, like I said, we have a Gragas. So what can Gragas do? Well, Gragas, as you can see right here, will jump in onto them, dash in, uh, and then I can follow up with a root. That is basically our key combo in lane if we're gonna be taking a trade together. Now, right here, I'm proccing the font of life stacks uh, quite easily. And then they have to back off. So as you can see, uh, the lane is perfect. Now, this build is actually so great that I actually want to start playing Jin a lot more. 
Uh, when you get the IE, you're quite strong, and when you get the uh, the Storm Razor, you're even stronger. I mean, Storm Razor pairs so well with Jin's kit; it's absolutely ridiculous, and the amount of damage you start de doing is crazy. I mean, I can't wait till we start uh, popping off. You're gonna see this crazy damage, and like I said, this is actually a quite uh, high elo games, even though we are on Smurf accounts, because uh, the Graves and the uh, Lucian on the enemy team are actually uh, pro players in the NA scene and actually the Graves is my my teammate actually so we're playing against one of my teammates uh, which is quite funny uh, he's our jungler he's a great guy Tybe he streams so if you want to go check him out you can go check him out on Twitch uh, he streams jungle so if you are a jungler want to learn how to jungle then check him out for sure anyways like I said, once you get Infinity Edge, Storm Razor, you're super strong, super powerful, um, and you do quite a lot of damage. Now, Jin is really good into squishies. That's the champions he wants to play against. And, you know, in this lane, we actually do quite well. But sadly, we were never really able to punish Kaisa well enough. I mean, there were some moments where I felt like she should have died. But uh, right here, we actually took a terrible trade. Gragas. Uh, dashed in onto Nami while I was trying to root Kaisa, so we were both just on different pages. Now, your ultimate. I, I used to make uh, Jin videos back back before, and people would always the number one complaint that I would see, and honestly, this complaint was so funny, is that Jin's ultimate does no damage, and to be honest. I kind of agree like it actually does no damage but ever since I've been playing Jin with this build I've been given it I played a uh, many games with this build uh, and making sure that I was bringing you guys the best build and guys my ultimate does quite a lot of damage and you'll you'll actually get to see in, in this gameplay that it does quite a lot it works really well and you can actually execute people finally with it um, I do agree and, the, and before man the, the ultimate like you could land four shots on per on a person But it actually does like literally no damage. So now it, it does quite a bit, which is great. Maybe it was all a mental thing, but um, Yeah, it definitely it definitely feels amazing um, If you guys are gin mains out there this then you guys are probably already using this build a hundred percent You guys already know what the best stuff is to run um, and yeah I mean Jen just really needs a lot of AD and crit he doesn't want attack speed but the only uh, items he really had to build for for crit always come with attack speed for example if uh, rapid fire cannon uh, static shiv you know and all the other crit items they always have attack speed and Jin doesn't really want attack speed uh, Jin wants attack damage and attack speed and finally storm razor is the first item to really have all of them together uh, which is great and that's why it, wor it works really well so uh yeah now now in this game it actually gets a little tight like nothing exactly is happening so basically we just want to get priority you know in, in very high elo games you guys you you shouldn't expect to kill the enemy adc or support it's quite hard you know like, if you look even at competitive play, it's just quite hard. Oh my god, guys. Actually, against this Kaisa, I canceled this Kaisa's recall, like, so many times. I was actually, like, bro, guys, I don't know if this was troll, but look at me. Look at me. I'm like, wait, why am I letting this kid recall? Wait, come on. Please tell me I cancel. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, right here, I come back, and I'm like, you're not recalling. Dude, the Kaisa actually canceled his recall before I even could. Right here, they actually moved quite far up. I thought we could have engaged right there, but we just rotate up. I decide to use my ultimate, um, and I predict Lucian's flash. Like, come on. You can't tell me that wasn't the cleanest prediction literally ever. I, I predicted him. I actually didn't predict him to flash. I predicted him to, uh, to, to dash over that wall, but he actually flashed right into it, which was beautiful. I bet he was like, what the hell was that aim? I used to play a bunch of Jin um, before... Uh, the NA beta I played a bunch of Jin when he was broken in EU uh, so that's a lot of fun something that I didn't actually quite know uh, that I think is actually something pretty cool I learned it 
like a couple of months ago or whatever and I'm probably bad for not already knowing this but if you guys don't know by chance if you don't know by chance you are actually able to keep your fourth shot uh, as long as you use an ability so let's say your 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 revolvers about to reload if you throw down a trap or uh, if you if, yeah if you throw down a trap or use a grenade for example it cancels the reload and it keeps your four shot open so if you want to if you want to land that four shot but you just don't have enough time you can use an ability so your four shot is still up but the one thing that annoys me the most with Jin is the way the grenade like places on people like like the like the it's too sensitive man like when the enemy and the minions are right on top of each other it's so hard to drag it onto the minions it's actually so annoying sometimes but um actually i was able to do it quite well this game right here we go right on into the kaisa i'm playing around this nami the gragasol could have been a little better there it actually pushed them away but uh i was able to get the final shot i decided to try to get the root but i actually missed it um I missed my root pretty badly, and that's why Nami was able to live. But yeah, that Gragasult could have been pushed a little forward so that instead of pushing the uh, ADC away, it actually would have gone into turret. But it's okay. The, the, the Kai'Sa actually ended up using her, her, her skill 3 to kind of speed away out of there. So it, it was pretty good reactions by Kai'Sa. So right here, I decided to recall. Uh, I wanted to take the turret. But we didn't see where Graves was until just now, so it's like, oh, yo, let's camp Kaisa and watch this. Boom, we camp Kaisa, we root her, combo. And man, what the hell? Kaisa took, like, legit no damage. Like, what even is that? Um, placing my traps down, and boom, boom, we get the kill. And since we know Graves is top, we're like, okay, we can just get this turret. Um, and this is kind of what starts the snowball of this game. Um... And yeah, guys, when you get fed on Jin, it is scary for the enemy. It's actually scary. Um, but guys, something new with the brand new update is, man, if you get a bounty, you cannot kill yourself. Like, like you will actually give the enemy team 1,000 gold so easily. And yeah, you definitely don't want to do that. So, so I recommend you guys, if you're freaking ahead this game, do not kill yourself. The amount of gold you're going to give to someone is is absolutely ridiculous. So make sure that you play safe uh, when you do have a lot of kills. Like do not do not make greedy plays because I guarantee you, you could actually like lose a game. Like like if you give a thousand gold bounty to a Ziggs, just imagine what that Ziggs could do. As you can see right there, I'm popping Kaisa for insane damage. 250 on the Renekton. I just start CCing around and right here I couldn't finish off anyone so I decided to do a quick quick scope onto Kaisa right there nice and clean uh, you know the Jin, the Jin ultimate it does take some getting used to to land the ultimates really well I mean it's all about reading the enemy players mind it's like alright where is he about to move and, and you gotta predict it and honestly it's quite easy to dodge Jin's ultimate um, as long as you're good at like uh, man I actually forgot the strafing if you're good at strafing which is like moving side to side but um, you're able to dodge it quite easily right here we secure the Baron and I decide to try to come help this Irelia but this Irelia absolutely just demolishes the enemy team like what uh, but she ended up dying. Look at this damage onto Graves. Oh my god. I chunked him to half HP like it was nothing. So I decided to recall because I have 2,400 gold. Usually after you get Baron, you want to uh, recall because it's it's actually the, the best decision you can you can make. So, uh, because when you recall, you, you actually stop yourself from throwing after getting Baron. Um, there's many times where, you know, you get Baron, you decide to stay on the map and you, you die. And then you're like, man, I should have just recalled and shop. So make sure to make it a habit for yourself after you get Baron, just reset. You probably have a bunch of gold, and even if not, it just stops you from throwing. So just keep that in mind, guys. So right here, we are we capture the Infernal Dragon. Now, I was already doing insane damage this game. Now we just tuned it up by 6%, which is ridiculous. I mean, you guys are about to see. Right here, you can see that I kept my four shot open. Um, by placing down a trap, but none of the enemy team wanted to, to give me that auto. Boom, right there, 421 
uh, Kai'Sa ended up having to flash out. Uh, but right here, as you can see, it's kind of... Tanks are a little thing that will take some time to, to get used to. Um, because Jin, Jin really like wants to fight Squishy. So if he has, if he has to uh, fight melees that are super tanky, like, like let's say I was against a tank Gragas or a tank Garen, like it's actually impossible for me to kill them with Jin. So so this build is great on Jin guys, but you still need to draft Jin accordingly, okay? Uh, do not play him into a lot of tanks. So right here, oh right here guys, we actually make a beautiful place. So right here we're just kiting around. I get my fourth shot. Instead of deciding to, to use it on Renekton, watch what I do. I flash onto Nami, I pop Nami like it's nothing. I use my ultimate right here. And I couldn't land the shots necessary, so I just turn around on this Kai'Sa. Um, and boom, Ty decides to come in right here and kill me. But I just do way too much damage. Like, I actually do way too much damage. Look at that. Oh, my God. Like, he, he can't even walk forward. I'm just sitting here so I could get this tower um, with ease. Boom, we get it. Um, I decide to back up because it's like, you really, really do not want to throw okay like i said i end up actually throwing eventually you guys will see it and together we can count how much gold i i end up giving over but as you see our teammates decide to fight um i'm like dude no you guys shouldn't be fighting man do not fight we're so ahead do not throw do not give lucian especially lucian God, Lucian, if you give Lucian a lot of gold, it's actually super hard to play into. So it's very important to not give him any gold bounties. All right, guys. So right here, this is where we lead to the probably one of the biggest throws I did actually this game. It was just unlucky decision making by me, actually. Um, but, you know, every good game has some bad decisions. So right here, I'm coming in with my fourth shot and I'm feeling like a god right now. Look at this. I always get Nami bubbled. I swear to God. I just literally like eat the Nami bubbles. But this is a great place to show. Like I gave a thousand two hundred gold. Another three fifty right there. Um, luckily our Oriana was able to save the moment here and not get herself get herself killed, which was great for us because if she died, we would actually be screwed. But she ended up living, but isn't that crazy? 1,200 gold for one death? Like, dude, that's not even a fair, man. Like, no one can tell me that that is freaking fair at all. So, um, with that, I was, like, a little shaken. I was like, wait, dude, can we actually lose off that? But no, we can't because I'm using Storm Razor on Jin. No one is beating me when I have Storm Razor on Jin, guys. Um... It's just, it, it feels really good. So like I said, make sure to pick Jin into Squishy. So right here, I'm trying to see if they're on Baron. And the way I would contest the Baron is with my ultimate. So I don't actually need to get close and, and kill myself. But luckily, we're just super ahead. We actually can do uh, kind of whatever we want. And, and honestly, we can just do Baron and explode really fast. So right here, I'm literally pushing out the waves. Uh, we're trying to look for a pick if we can't or just do baron um i'm trying to auto and then use my grenade but sometimes it's just not going off did you guys see that 1008 damage uh that is ridiculous for a minion so right here i set up my traps guys because we want to take the cloud dragon as quickly as possible and i just don't want to set up safety measures and right here i gin i use my root way too early right there uh, we're trying to find people to kill but everyone is just dashing away. So right here, I'm just doing damage over the wall. I flash over and start damaging Kaisa, but everyone's trying to dip out. So I pull my ultimate in, and I'm landing some big shots. Boom, baby. We secure the kill onto Kaisa yet again with the Jin ult. And we actually turn the enemy down to shreds. Boom, boom. They end up just falling like like nothing and we get the final kill onto Renekton with 11 kills to finish out the game I mean this was such a great Jin gameplay so I hope you guys did enjoy make sure to go down in the comment sections try out this build let me know what you guys think of it and also tell me what type of Jin build you guys use because I'm always open to um 
discussion and I like trying out other builds because dude this update has been so much fun and I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. If you're new here and you guys want to see more ADC build videos make sure to sub up we're so close to 50k and we're just on the road to 50k in general. I'd love to have you guys part of the family. Alright guys that's it. that's it for me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.